Thank you for tuning in to our online service, the pre-recorded reading at Cardiff. The aim is to help take the place of our annual service, which COVID has prevented us doing. I want to thank the readers, the choir, and the recording team for putting the service together. Traditionally, the, the um, collection for this service was always given to a charity in Dundalk. And this year, it will be all the donations will be divided between Women's Aid and the Simon Community here in Dundalk. So towards the end of the service, there's a donate button at which you will direct you to our GoFundMe page. Thank you. Beloved in Christ, at this Christmas time, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all his people, for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build, and especially in these our parishes. And because this would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore, and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom, in the Lord Jesus, we are one forevermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Join us now to sing Once in Royal David City.
This is a reading from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2, 6, and 7. Christ's birth and kingdom are foretold by Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon the throne of the kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord hosts will perform this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We now sing, O come, O ye faithful. lesson. St. Luke chapter 1 verse 26 to 31. The angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. 
And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favoured. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The next call is, O little town of Bethlehem. of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was one of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Now let us sing Silent Night. go to the manger. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our next carol is Ding Dong Merrily on High. Ding dong merrily on high.
from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are coming to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor, that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently, What time the star appeared? And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now sing, God rest ye merry gentlemen. solitary life. He was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another village where he worked in a carpenter's shop until he was 30. Then for three years he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family or owned a house. He didn't go to college. He never traveled far from the place where he was born. He did none of the things usually associated with greatness. He had no credentials but himself. He was only 33 when public opinion turned against him. 
His friends ran away. He was turned over to his enemies. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for his clothing, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Nineteen centuries have come and gone, and today he is the central figure of the human race, the leader of mankind's progress. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, all the kings that ever reigned put together have not affected the life of man on earth as powerfully as that solitary life. Let us join in singing, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came not of his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Christmas Collect, O God, who makest us glad of the early remembrance of the birth of thy only Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, Word without end. Amen.
Before the final blessing, let us reflect on a hymn based on Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, and sung to the air of Danny Boy. wonderful counsellor guide you, the strength of the mighty God defend you, the love of the everlasting Father enfold you, the peace of the Prince of Peace be upon you, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and your loved ones this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I wish you, on behalf of all our parishioners, a safe and happy Christmas. And before you go away from the service, please remember that button for charity, the local charities, if you wish to donate. Thank you very much. To conclude our virtual carols by candlelight for 2020 here from the Green Church in Dundalk, let us all sing that wonderful carol Hark, the herald angels sing. <laughs>